Ooh. Like, does this not go lace socks? I'm gonna put my Pinterest board here. You're wearing the night sky. I will never get over this. This jacket. What? Hello, you guys. How are you today? I'm so happy you're here because today I will be showing and styling some of my all-time favorite thrift pieces. And they are really good, okay? I'm talking like mind-blowing kind of good. So put on a helmet, grab some snacks, and let's get started. I'm gonna start with the accessories first since I'll be pairing them with other pieces throughout the video. So first thing first is purses. And my very first thing is this Rokaware purse that I thrifted actually super recently. It has the logo all over it. I love the shape of this bag and the silver chains with a bedazzled little logo right here in the front. It has a really pretty blue satin lining inside. Look at the way that it just sits on my shoulder. Just overall a killer piece and it kind of reminds me of this next purse I'm going to show you as well. I have loved this purse since the second that I laid eyes on it in the store. It's this baby fat purse again with a silver chain detail and all of these silver grommets like all over it. it has a colorful satin inner lining and that's a cute little coincidence. But perhaps the sexiest and most classiest bag I've ever found is this Dooney and Bork bag. This is like my daily go-to bag. If I don't know which purse to wear with an outfit, guaranteed this one's going to make the cut. Of course, you can tell the storage is great. It has white stitch detailing, which I'm obsessed with. It has a cream interior. Oh, and it has this little latch where you can add keychains. So I put a Hello Kitty charm on it. And now I'm going to show you my shoes. First pair are my Mary Janes. I thrifted these close to a year ago and I have just like worn them into the ground. You can definitely tell when they're close up. I probably should have cleaned them before I showed you. But these are just so versatile. They're a great basic to have. Boo! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I just want to show you how I styled these shoes most recently, which was with these lace socks. I got these off of Amazon and I've been loving wearing them because they're super comfortable, versatile, and they add a nice texture to the outfit. So first things first, I have on this little baby doll dress from Victoria's Secret that I thrifted. And I'm going to slip these on. And then the shoes. And then to complement the pink, I have this gorgeous pink blazer that I thrifted. And to complement the shoes, I wore this black purse. And my charm goes perfectly with this outfit. So this was it. I also had some different accessories on. Like I had pink ribbons in my hair and a little pink heart necklace, but you get the idea. Like, are these not the cutest things ever? I'll have the link for these in my description box. And then next are these BCBG chunky sandals with these huge sparkly flowers on the straps. And it has the BCBG logo all over them as well. And then the third pair of shoes I have to show you are these. I just cannot get over them. They're so cute. I'm going to put up some pictures of how I most recently styled them for Valentine's Day. They're just these beige and cream lace-up fur boots. They have a wedge. And these are also incredibly comfortable. I can wear them for so long. I didn't believe it was possible, but I'm going to put up a picture of another pair of brown furry boots that I found. Yep, with buckles and all. Oh my God, they were so gorgeous that naturally I had to send them to my best friend. Okay, now we're gonna continue on with my favorite hats that I found. So I have two to show you and I guess I'm also gonna show you these gloves at the same time as well. So I showed this little combo in my last video, but I'm so happy with them that they just had to make another appearance. This is just a beanie with this fur trim and it looks like a headband when you're wearing it. And then these are some faux leather lined gloves. I am going to style these for you. Okay, I think I've got a good idea for these. And this is actually kind of a bonus because I'm wearing another one of my favorite items that I didn't show you, which is this little Victoria's Secret slip with slits on the side and this sparkly embroidering. And I'm also wearing these distressed tights. These are just basic sheer tights from Walmart that I have not even intentionally distressed. Like it just happened, I don't know. Next, I'm gonna put on this leather jacket. I think the length will look nice. I really like the shape of the shoulders. Hopefully I don't get too bad hat hair. Ooh, this is cute. And then the gloves. Oh yeah, little red purse to top it off. Actually, no, I would not wear this purse with it. And not this one either, a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, yeah, we found the winner. I had some more interest over here. Oh, and I'm wearing my Mary Janes again with the white lace socks to match the slip. And then the next hat is this one. It's this army green distressed hat with a spade and some playing cards on the top. And it says, life is a gamble. I just think this is the sexiest hat in the world. And now I'm gonna kind of speed through my jewelry slash belts. I did get a request for a thrifted jewelry collection. So I'll have that out for you guys soon. But as for my all time favorites, my first one has got to be this belt. It's this chunky silver belt with a bunch of different colored stones. It has the cutest detailing around them. And it 
has a chain at the end. Just I feel is a great statement piece and an easy way to get some color into an outfit. And then on the other end of that, I have this gold chunky belt with little circles and squares with different textures and patterns on them with a cute little swirl on the end. I don't know why I love that detail so much. I actually just recently wore it. So I'll put a picture of how it looked in that outfit. It just really adds that extra bling. And then one of my most worn bracelets that I've ever thrifted is this gold one with red hearts. I love how it looks wiry and it's flexible so I can just adjust it to however I need it. And along with that, I found some really cute arm cuffs. And these are my favorites. This one has a bunch of little squirrels on it and this one is a glittery starfish. I will never get over this. I love the way they look. As for my favorite necklaces, this is one of these chunky chrome circles with almost a holographic looking purple stone in the middle. It is really flattering and just a good statement piece whenever I'm wearing silver. And I also love this iridescent seashell necklace. I'm from Florida, so I feel like I gravitate towards the mermaidia kind of aesthetic. I'm gonna put my Pinterest board here because these are the vibes that I'm trying to curate for this summer. And then lastly for jewelry are these earrings. So these huge chunky hearts with the prettiest details. I live for the drama and these bring the drama. Now we're gonna get into my all-time favorite clothing items and I'm gonna waste no time, okay? We're getting into the best stuff first. This is the first dress I wanna show you. I cannot to this day believe how gorgeous this dress is. This is gonna be my birthday dress and I decided to plan a whole fairy picnic garden themed day based around this dress. It has all of this beading and sequin details on the front with little scalloped pink trim and it looks like that on the back as well well with this kind of ombre sheer bodice with some asymmetry around the hips, a little tie on the side. This dress really speaks for itself. There's not really much styling that needs to go into it besides like hair and makeup. I haven't put on this dress since I bought it, but oh my god. And then I found this next dress on the same day, same store. And oh my God, look how gorgeous. Stuff like this just gets me so excited. This dress again has sequins and beading and really unique patterns all throughout. I love the color scheme of this. It's almost like a sunset. And I've actually never tried this on before. So it'll be my first time in the clips that you're seeing. And I'm hoping that one of my friends will be able to wear this for my fairy birthday. I just think these two dresses especially go so well together. This dress definitely does not fit perfectly, but it was quite literally only $10. So I feel like it's definitely worth having adjustments made. But oh my gosh, the beading, the colors, the cross in the back, so beautiful. And then the last dress I'll show you is this one. This is a Christian Dior slip dress. And you can only see super up close, but it actually says Dior all over it in the print. This is sheer, of course, so it needs to be styled with some layering underneath it. I usually wear it with black underneath and it just makes the sparkles pop so much. What I love about this is that the glitter is actually inside the fabric, so it doesn't get everywhere. And it's perfect for the evening time because of the way that it looks like you're wearing the night sky with the way it glistens. Okay, as I explained, this doesn't really need too much to be styled up because this is the moment itself. So I just have on a black bra and some spandex and this is what she looks like so freaking sparkly i literally feel like a disco ball and i think these platform bcbg sandals are perfect look at them go and then for the final touch this bag Like this is me at a movie premiere. Or even though it's extra, like this on a date, guarantee I'll get a second one. <laughs> okay, next I'm gonna show you skirts. And this one is very simple. It's just a basic sheer asymmetrical bottom skirt. And I had this for probably maybe over a year before I actually styled it just recently. And I got a ton of compliments on that outfit, which I was really happy about because I completely just pulled it out of my ass. I literally had no time to plan the outfit and somehow it came together perfectly. Okay, this might be like my favorite outfit that I've shown you. Because first of all, look at this sheer, lace top. I thrifted this a while ago. I passed up on a bunch of these before I found one that fit me well. So I'm glad I stuck it out so I didn't end up with a mediocre one because it makes this outfit possible. Oh my. So I've gone on the skirt and then I have just a black bra and some black spandex. So to elevate this even higher, we're going to add none other than this silver belt. I like it to hang right yeah, like right here at my hips. And then tell me these white cowgirl boots are not perfect. What? I just love this look. 
And then the second skirt I have to show you is this long denim maxi skirt, which I love because of the details. Like first we've got these little studs on the front pockets. In the back, I like this cute little patch with a star and the brand on it. But most of all, I love the V shape down the front and it has a rugged edge on the bottom. Okay, this white top has made a comeback to be styled with the skirt. I've got on some gold jewelry, this little seashell clasp purse, and then I'm gonna put on these little square toe white heels. I think this is so pretty in summary. All right, and now let's get into jackets. You may or may not have already seen this coming, but this jacket is my baby. I found this when I was thrifting with Kiara. It's super fluffy and soft. This is by Liz Claiborne. I get so excited anytime I style this jacket. Let me show you the base of what we're working with. I've just got on this velvety top that comes to a V, and then these leather pants from Hollister that I have quite literally never worn. And I was just thinking about how badly I wanted to wear them, because hello, who wants to waste their money? So let's get this jacket on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But this alone, to me just looks boring. So hold on, we're gonna put on this belt. Like, why does that make such a big difference? This also definitely needs some chunky jewelry. I have a really pretty gold cross necklace. That would be perfect, I just can't find it. What? Y'all, I can see again. What does it kind of look cute with the outfit? So this would not be the final form of this outfit, but it's still so good. This next jacket is one of my more basic favorite pieces. It's this Juicy Couture velour zip up that I reach for all the time in my closet. The fit is super snatched. The quality is really nice. I've had this for over three years now and it looks just as good as the day I thrifted it. And I just love this for casual wear. If I want to feel really good about what I'm wearing without having to do too much, I'll show you an easy way to style this in just a minute. But first, let me quickly show you my other top favorite tops top favorite tops yeah that's right first is this green super chic super luxe looking top i thrifted this in one of my most recent videos and it was a little bit controversial because beth really did not like it but i'm telling you i have a vision it has this ruffling detailing along the neck all the way down and these crystal buttons that are on the sleeves as well you getting the vision now Mm -hmm. You getting the vision? This top is just begging for some silver chunky jewelry. So I layered this cross and this heart. And then I put on this black mini skirt with these tights. And I have a feeling that these over the knee pointed toe boots will look really cute with it. Oh, hell yes. These are also thrifted. Oh wait, we need a bag. So I gotta go with Old Faithful in this one. The second top I have is a halter that's opaque at the top, but it's sheer through the bodice. And it has these two little bits that hang down on the sides that are super dramatic. It's super sexy. The back is open. I still remember being so excited to wear this when I found it, but I've only worn it once and I didn't even really do it justice. So it definitely needs another moment. Okay, for lack of a more creative outfit, I'm gonna have to show you this one for now. I've got on the top, which is just so, you already know. But I've got on this black mini skirt with a silver chain bow, but you can't really see it well. And then as for accessories, I'm gonna go with these again. Like, you know, cute or whatever. Maybe I would like pin it right here so it's open and you can actually see the boat. Yeah, I think I like that better. The next top is actually a bodysuit and I'm pretty sure this is dance wear. So that just makes me love it even more because the texture is so thick and soft. And the best part about this is that it is completely backless. I like to style this in a really simple and casual way. So to style this top, I think I've decided that I actually wanna wear it with these shorts that you're actually gonna see in a minute. But because these are so low, I think it's gonna look really good. You know what? Okay, cut the camera. Okay, I'm realizing I don't have the means to execute this outfit the exact way that I see it in my head. So you're gonna have to do some imagining with me, but this is what I put on. I switched the long shorts for these really short ones. And then I added my silver stone belt. The open back looks so good. But the reason that I don't love this is because I feel like it'd be cuter with black denim shorts, especially if they were a little distressed. And then I'd probably wear this purse with it with some silver jewelry. And the last top is this one. It's this super dainty floral and lace trim silky little top with these slit details on the bottom i just think this is the most delicate thing ever and it's a really elevated basic okay this outfit is the perfect example of the way this top works as an elevated basic because i've gone on blue jeans check these out these are some levi's that my sister gave me and i'm gonna wear this red purse that has a silver keychain on it i think red and denim go together like peanut butter and jelly the way this top fits is so flattering and it just becomes the star of the show in an outfit like this and our last little category that we're gonna get into our bottoms is bottoms we're talking about bottoms okay not in a weird way this first pair are these miss me jeans and oh my 
Sorry, I just needed a moment of silence. These are like sickening. They're these white miss me's that have like a flare boot cut. Holy shit. They have these bedazzled cross details and adorable buttons. And I'm gonna keep the styling simple for now, but I really need to find a way to go all out with these. Yeah, this outfit is a perfect example of a simple way that I would style these jeans and also ways I like to style this juicy jacket. I love the way low rise looks with these longer tops. Cause you get the perfect amount of midriff. Okay, camera can't handle all of this. But check out these pockets. I think that we found the perfect opportunity for this purse to shine. Like, does this not go together so well? So this would be my final outfit. I've just got on some white sneakers. Very simple little out with my friends outfit. And for my last pair of bottoms, it would not be right if I didn't show these gray slash black denim shorts that I've been obsessed with wearing these past couple months. They're huge oversized shorts that go past the knee. They're very basic, but they fit really well in the waist with this extra button that I added. I'll put some pictures of how I've styled them. I don't think there's been a love story quite like this one. So those are all the pieces that I have to show you. As part of my all-time favorites. I hope that you guys really like this video concept. Be sure to subscribe if you like this video because I'll have a lot more out like it soon. You guys are the best and I will see you later. Bye.